This battle in the Big Ten West could get out of hand early in Minneapolis. What's going on, everybody? Big Ten Ted coming at you here today for this game preview. Nebraska going on the road to Minnesota, and you can't help but feel really for both of these teams in a couple of different ways. First for the Gophers, and obviously first game of the season, Mo Ibrahim goes down to a season-ending injury, and of course, the scary situation with Trey Potts just announced that he will be out for the remainder of the season. And Trey Potts, ever since coming in for Mo, was, you know, he was top five, I think, top five, top six statistically running back in the Big Ten, and he was having some really good games. But here we are as the Huskers traveling to Minnesota uh, to take on the Golden Gophers. Believe it or not, this is the second rank. Minnesota is the second rank run defense in the Big Ten. But when you do a deeper dive into this, you see, well... You faced two MAC teams, you faced a bad Colorado team, you faced a Purdue team that likes to throw the ball, and then of course the Ohio State game in week one, and look what Ohio State did to them in that game on the ground. All the other teams are uh, not very good football teams. So take it with a grain of salt that Minnesota is right there as a second rank run defense in the Big Ten. This week, I think the Huskers are going to really test that. Because this is a Nebraska team, whether it's their option game or running to the outside, inside, doesn't matter. This is a Nebraska team that can run the ball. All right? They're one of the best teams running the football. Uh, and the Big Ten ran it pretty effectively, especially in the second half against Michigan. And one thing I saw for that Nebraska Cornhuskers team against Michigan last week was the balance, especially in the second half. They could score throwing the ball. They could throw it down the middle. They could throw it to the outside. Running game, they got the option game going a little bit more in that second half against Michigan as opposed uh, to the first half. But this might be the series of games for the Nebraska Cornhuskers that they turn the corner and get some positive momentum. They play Minnesota and Purdue in back-to-back -back games before those three tough games against Ohio State, uh, Wisconsin, and Iowa to finish off the season. These are two must-win games for Nebraska if they want to get to bowl eligibility and a 6-6 six and six season. And honestly, I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to light up the Gophers. I really do. Uh, Minnesota's in a tough spot. Coming into this season, maybe they were considered dark horses. Half yeah, Mo has a good year. Tanner gets back on, the, on track. Chris Hoffman Bell comes back. and But it's just, it's not going their way. It's not going the way of the Minnesota Golden Gophers this year. And, and it's been kind of a tough break for PJ's flex staff. Personally, when I look at Tanner Morgan, remember a couple of years ago, 2019, he was considered one of the better quarterbacks in the conference. This year, he's one of the worst quarterbacks in the conference. He's bottom two in passing yards. He's bottom two, bottom three in touchdown passes. Only four touchdown passes this season for Tanner Morgan. The more I look at him, the more I look at his body of work throughout his college career, the more I think Tyler Johnson and Rashad Bateman really elevated him in terms of being a better quarterback. When you surround yourself back a couple of years ago in 2019 with two NFL wide receivers, you're going to be good. Throw it in their direction and good things happen. And that's exactly what happened in 2019. They had a solid running game. Their defense was able to force turnovers uh, as well with Antoine Winfield in that secondary that year. Tanner Morgan's just not a good quarterback. I think his talent level is not very good. I believe he has hit his ceiling at the quarterback position. Nebraska, they haven't hit their ceiling yet. Because they keep on growing and they keep on improving every single week. They are so close right now to just being, what, a 5-1 and one football team? But that's not how we play football. We play football wins and losses. That almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Minnesota is good at protecting the quarterback. They've only allowed eight sacks uh, this season on Tanner Morgan. That's second in the Big Ten this year. So can Nebraska get the pressure on Tanner Morgan early to get him running around? I think this Nebraska defense is going to have a good day. I don't think Minnesota is going to break. They're down to their third string running back, their third and fourth running backs in Minneapolis. Are they going to be able to run the ball? I, I don't think they are. I think this is a pretty stout Nebraska team in, in terms of defending the run. And then when you force Tanner Morgan to throw, uh, you know, I think the, Nebraska has stuff on the secondary, has stuff in the defensive backfield to be able to make plays and limit passing yards. Tanner Morgan just has not been good uh, throwing the football. So if I'm Nebraska and their defensive coaching staff, I say, hey, let's stop the run and we win this game. Uh, that's just the cold, hard truth. 
Nothing too crazy needs to be done offensively for the Huskers. Play your game, and you're going to be able to put up a lot of points uh, in this game on the road. These next two games for Nebraska could be big-time confidence builders. If they can go out and beat these teams by two touchdowns, by three touchdowns, and do what they should do and do what they need to do, they're going to go into that game against Ohio State and then the Wisconsin and Iowa games with a lot of confidence. And maybe they can knock off one of those teams to get to bowl eligibility and maybe even seven wins. Who knows? Maybe even eight wins for this Nebraska team. What do you think? You think Nebraska is going to get rolling? You think they're going to turn a corner starting with this week going to Minneapolis to take on the Gophers? Or is Minnesota going to get it together? Is Tanner Morgan going to have his best day throwing the ball? Can Minnesota pull the upset? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for Big Ten football content. I'm Big Ten Ted. We'll see you down the road.